Welcome to Thursday Night Vespers. I'm glad to see you here as we quiet and calm our minds headed into the evening of rest and relaxation. As we get ready to hear our scriptures, let us take three deep calming breaths together. He's got the whole world in his hands. 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 He's got everybody here in his hands. He's got everybody here in his hands. He's got everybody here. In his hands, he's got the whole world in his hands. Proverbs chapter 12, starting at verse 11. Those who till their land will have plenty of food, but those who follow worthless pursuits have no sense. The wicked covet the proceeds of wickedness, but the root of the righteous bears fruit. The evil are ensnared by the transgressions of their lips, but the righteous escape from trouble. For the fruit of the mouth, one is filled with good things, and manual labor has its reward. Fools think their own way is right, but the wise listen to advice. Fools show their anger at once, but the prudent ignore an insult. Whoever speaks the truth gives honest evidence, but a false witness speaks deceitfully. Rash words are like sword thrusts, but the tongue of the wise brings healing. Truthful lips endure forever, but a lying tongue lasts only a moment. Deceit is in the minds of those who plan evil, but those who counsel peace have joy. Luke chapter nine, starting at verse 49. John answered, Master, we saw someone casting out demons in your name, and we tried to stop them because he does not follow us. But Jesus said to him, Do not stop him, for whoever is not against you is for you. When the days drew near for him to be taken up, he set his face to go to Jerusalem, and he sent messengers ahead of him. On their way, they entered a village of the Samaritans to make ready for him, but they did not receive him because his face was set towards Jerusalem. When the disciples James and John saw it, they said, Lord, do you want us to command fire to come down from heaven and consume them? But he turned and rebuked them, and then they went on to another village. Friends, thank you for joining me for Vespers again. I always love this time where we can listen to the word of our Lord together as we end our day and look forward to hopefully a restful night. As we close out our time together, I invite you to pray with me by repeating after me. Dear God, thank you for this day. Watch over me as I sleep and help me to be your child tomorrow. In your name I pray, amen. Good night, friends.